What's up, y'all? It's your boy Clarence NYC. Welcome back to my reaction channel. And today we're gonna be reacting to things you're consuming wrong. So I'm guessing they about to put us on game on the certain things that we're eating wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you could be eating an orange wrong, but they about to show us. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna get right into this video. Before we get into this video, though, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you leave a comment. And make sure your bell notifications are turned on. That that helps both me and you. It helps my, my overall channel. And it helps you to always stay on top of my uploads. You know what I'm saying? And be the first ones to see them. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to start doing giveaways for the first people that's here. You know what I'm saying? And, and You know what I mean? And then we're going to do it like that to get you more engaged. You know what I mean? But let's get right into this video. I'm about to start it. Many people struggle with food and other consumer goods because they're simply using them wrong. Just because everyone else always eats a food or uses a consumer good a certain way doesn't mean it's the best way to consume that product. Did you know there's a simple solution to dealing with bones and chicken wings, getting the shell off a hard boiled egg, and getting more for your money out of your ink and toner cartridges? Prepare to be amazed at this video of 10 things- 10 things you're wrong. consuming wrong. Amazing. 10 things you're Number consuming 10. wrong. Yogurt. If you like to eat yogurt, you may occasionally find a liquid that collects on the top and think it's gross. Oh, uh, I don't really, I don't really eat yogurt like that, but I do know what they're talking about. The I pour that shit out, yeah. So fast. Yeah. What you're really doing is pouring essential nutrients down the drain. It's much healthier to consume the liquid I'm not because consuming it contains nothing. calcium, protein, and B12. I'm not consuming Three of the nothing. healthiest nutrients found in yogurt. You don't have to drink the liquid. Just stir it back into your yogurt before eating. Or just shake the yogurt beforehand so you don't have to see it separated at the top. That liquid is known as whey. And Little Miss Muffet eats it, so you should too. Number 9. Chicken Wings it's How could you eat a chicken wing wrong? Way to eat them since they're finger food, right? While it may be socially acceptable to eat chicken wings any way you want, dealing with the bones can be a hassle. So don't just wing it. That's just foul play, because there is an easy way to solve this problem. Here's how you can debone the wing with ease. Hold your chicken wing like a game controller, and twist the ends back and forth until you feel the cartilage break. Then, hold the second bone out the end. This leaves one bone in the wing. You then put the chicken wing in your mouth and pull it off the other bone, leaving you with only chicken to chew. This is the best way because you get to eat all the meat at once without the risk of encountering a bone when you chew. No. Number eight. I can't, I can't eat my wings like that. Because all them veins in there, and it's like the cartilage, and like there's other things that's in there besides the bone that's hard. You know what I'm saying? Them little corners, like, like, shorty's bugging right there. Shorty's high key bugging. High key. Hard boiled eggs. For many people, the hardest part of cooking hard boiled eggs is peeling the shell off. If you're struggling with this or avoiding making hard boiled eggs altogether so you don't have to deal with it, chances are you're doing it wrong. The best solution is to add a teaspoon of baking soda to the water before you begin, which raises the pH of the water. Boil the eggs for about 12 minutes with 2 inches of water above the eggs. When you're done cooking and have cooked the eggs, crack both ends on the counter and peel off some of the shell so you have a hole at the top and bottom of the egg. Now comes the fun part. All you have to do is blow on one end of the egg and the shell should come right off. They may be hard boiled, but they don't have to be hard peeled. What? Number seven, oranges. Oranges are a You good blow on the one, one side of the before, egg and the egg just pops out? Peel. Here's an easy way. How? And you'll man? be annoyed you didn't know sooner. All you have to do is cut off the top and bottom of the orange. Yeah. Then make a slice in the peel mm -hmm. and simply unroll one. your orange. It's now neatly sectioned and easy to eat. Sort of like a fruity Toblerone. Aren't you glad we told you this? Yeah, how do you guys eat orange? I think I eat mine like that. Or I just peel it. It's not a food. But toothpaste is also expended by use. So it's cost effective to consume it properly. The first mistake people make when using toothpaste relates to the amount of it they use. Many people run a long strip of toothpaste across the surface of bristles on their toothbrush. Yeah. But this is actually too much toothpaste. Where? A pea-sized amount is plenty. Another common mistake people make with toothpaste is rinsing their mouth immediately after brushing. This isn't actually what you're supposed to do. Not rinsing allows the fluoride to stay in the mouth and be better absorbed by the teeth, protecting them from cavities. 
Toothpaste also has a few use hacks that can help you with cleaning something other than your pearly whites. You can use it to clean your car's headlights, or to get persistent strong smells like garlic or onions off your hands. Number five, I know. ink and toner. If you print things it's even occasionally, you probably groan every time you get one of those replace ink messages on your computer screen. However, replacing the cartridge right away isn't the most cost-effective solution. Frequently, these messages pop up when your ink has just reached a certain low level, but there is still some left. With ink cartridges, simply take out the cartridge and use an unbent paper clip to pop the reset button on the cartridge. Then continue printing until your printing gets light or totally non-existent. Only then will you have to replace the cartridge. With the larger toner cartridges, take them out and shake them. Bro, I don't, I've never had a printer, bro. I don't think I would ever have a printer. I don't think me. Maybe I would when, like, Number four, leftover party for pizza. the kids or something. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Leftover pizza is good in so many ways. That pizza is dirty. Some people like being cold, while that others prefer nasty, to eat. Nigga. But if you're using a microwave or even a traditional oven, you may not be getting the best, tastiest flavor and texture from yesterday's pizza. So, what so you what's the best way to reheat it? Fold your pizza slices up and put them in a waffle iron. This keeps the crust crispy and even remelts the cheese. Plus, you get a cool little grid shape on your pizza. You can even fill the little squares with that extra sauce or Parmesan cheese you get from the pizza place. Number three, apples. An apple a Bro, day you gonna put your pizza on a way, waffle maker? So the goes. I don't know about that, but a whole apple a day will leave more room in your trash or recycling bin. That's why you gotta eat it all. That's right, you can eat the whole apple, including the core. The whole idea of the core being inedible is just a myth. Sure, apple seeds do release cyanide when digested, but unless you finally chew and eat about 200 apple seeds or about 20 apple cores, you won't receive a fatal dose. Oh, and you shouldn't peel apples either, as the skin contains vitamins. The best way to consume your apple peel my is to rinse it thoroughly. Start from the bottom and eat the whole thing. Skin, stem, and all. Number two. Now they tripping. Now they tripping. You're going too far now. Apples either. Shorty's going too far now. Receive a fatal dose. Oh. Now you wilding. Peel apples either, as the skin contains vitamins. The best way to consume your apple is to rinse it thoroughly. But I never seen somebody eat the bottom of an apple, mo, like that. You savage. The bottom and eat the whole thing. Skin, stem, and all. Bruh. Number two. Liquid soap. If you have to keep buying liquid soap frequently, you may feel like you're washing a lot of money down the drain. Fortunately, there's an easy way to save money and still get your hands clean. Wrap a rubber band around the neck of the pump. This lets it go down part way, but not all the way, so you get a smaller amount of soap with each pump. Don't worry, your hands will get just as clean and you won't have to buy soap as often. You can stretch your soap even further by adding water when the pump bottle starts to run out. Nigga, we know this. Nigga, we from the hood. The a lot farther before you have to buy another refill. We from the hood, the nigga. You know this, nigga. I just learned that because I'm not used to it. Those are healthy nuts, and they have pretty fun commercials too. But sometimes getting them open is no fun, especially when you're left with the neglected ones that you can't get the shell off. Thankfully, there's an easy solution for this that might save you from going nuts. It'll be like take another pistachio shell and insert it into the crack. You should be able to fit it into most small slits with a bit of pressure, and this will allow you to easily push apart the two sides of the shell. This works because the shells are very strong. This will prevent those yummy pistachio nuts from hibernating indefinitely. Have you been consuming these wrong the whole time? And what hacks help you consume products more efficiently? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video... Google Fiber oh, wants to know if you're in a... Yo, comment right now if you guys been doing anything that they showed just now wrong your whole life. I'm not going to lie. The toothpaste, I always put a whole line of toothpaste. Um, what else was there? There was like one other crazy. What was the crazy part that, that we uh, seen before? Many it was like... The hardest part oh, the egg, the egg, is and the, the wing, shell. the chicken wing. Since they're finger food, right? Why I wouldn't be able to eat chicken wings like that, but I could see where want, how it would be easier. Be a hassle. But so what what would you do with the leg though? With the with the other part of the wing, like the the leg part. You feel me? Like what would you do there? But man, comment if you guys did any of these things wrong. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments. But I see y'all next video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I see y'all.